Are you a content creator? Do you create video content on platforms like YouTube and on library? Do you do audio-only podcasting? If you do this sort of content creation, one of the things that you probably want to do is you want to record your audio tracks as multiple separate audio tracks. And this makes editing your audio much easier when you have everything as a separate track. But many people struggle on A, how to record multiple audio tracks, and B, how do you go about editing those multiple audio tracks? What kind of software do you use to do this sort of thing? So today I wanted to show you how I record and edit audio tracks using free software, things like OBS, Audacity, and Caden Live. So let's start with recording multiple separate audio tracks using OBS. I'm assuming, especially if you're a video content creator, you're probably going to do all your recording using OBS, the open broadcaster software, which is the gold standard when it comes to that kind of software. It is free and open source software. It is also free as in free of charge. So let me open up OBS and if you go to file and go to settings and open up the settings inside OBS on the left hand column you have various tabs one of them is audio click on that now this audio screen here that you're seeing would be the devices that you see down here in the audio mixer you see I have desktop audio and then I have microphone auxiliary. So I only have two sources here in the audio mixer because I have desktop audio set to the controller on, on my computer. Then I have the mic audio set to my mixer that you see on this server rack behind me. You could add other audio sources if you needed to. Most people are just going to have two, the desktop audio and the microphone audio, but you could have multiple inputs especially I, mean, I could have you know a second audio interface somewhere plugged into some other microphones and then I would need to, of course add that and it would appear down here in the audio mixer portion of the interface here once you have all of this set to your liking what you need to do then is go to output and in output make sure you're in the advanced mode and you're gonna see various tabs streaming recording audio replay buffer now there's nothing to do in the streaming tab as far as separating your audio into multiple tracks because streaming, you're not really capturing that audio yourself. Streaming is you're sending that signal, the video and the audio to some service like YouTube or Twitch. So there's nothing to do on this tab. But the recording tab is the one where you can separate that audio into multiple tracks. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your recording format is set to some format that can handle separate audio tracks. MP4 is the most common video format people record in and MP4 handles having multiple audio tracks just fine. So if you choose MP4, you should be good. And then what you need to do is tick on however many separate audio tracks you want. You can have up to six. I chose three and I chose three because that is the number of sources I have down here in the audio mixer. I have one and then I have two and then you always need a third one which would be the mix of all the other sources in your audio mixer. I hope that makes sense. So if you had three things down here in the audio mixer, maybe you had two different interfaces picking up your microphones plus the desktop audio. So you had three things down here. You want to create four tracks. For me, I'm just doing the two sources here. So I created three tracks. And if I wanted to name them, I could go to the audio tab and give them proper names instead of just one, two, or three. Really one here is the main mix, which is a combination of the desktop audio and my mic auxiliary audio. Two, I believe I have set to the mic and then three is going to be the desktop audio. Anyway, I'm going to cancel all of this because it's already been set. And once you have all of that set, what you need to do is go to the cog wheel down here. Uh, either one. It doesn't really matter for any of your sources down here. Go to the cog wheel, right click on it and choose advanced audio properties. And the window is not quite wide enough for you to see all the tracks here again, up to six tracks here in OBS. But the first thing you want to do is however many sources you have as far as your audio mixer, they're going to be in this list. And then you choose which tracks you want them to record to. One track needs to have everything. So it needs to be the main mix. So if you have five things in this list, what I would do is I would put all of them on track one. So that's a, a mix of everything. And then after that, I would go and add 
each one to its own separate track. So desktop audio, it records to track one, which is the main mix. And then it also records to track three. And track three is only going to be the desktop audio. I won't put any other source on that. That way, if I ever need to edit, you know, scrub or clean up the desktop audio, I have it on a track by itself. Nothing else is on it. The same thing with mic auxiliary. It records to track one, which is again, the main mix It's a combination of all the audio sources, but it also is on a track by itself on track two. I won't put anything else on track two. That track is strictly for my microphone audio. So if I ever need to go and just clean up the microphone audio, not the desktop audio or anything else that's you might be plugged in just the microphone. It's on its own separate track. So now that I have my computer's desktop audio separate, from my microphone audio. Let's do a test recording and let me show you this in action. So I'm gonna open up an audio player here and I'm gonna play a song. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the desktop audio here. I'm gonna let that play for a minute. And then I'm gonna talk over it. Yeah. This is DistroTube, guys. Record and edit multiple audio tracks using free software. Watch DT on YouTube and library. Follow DT on Mastodon. Support DT's work over on Patreon. <laughs> All right. Hey, let me kill that. Stop the recording. Now let's see if our separate audio tracks work. So I'm going to switch back to the desktop to check to see if this worked. What you could do is open up a audio player that allows you to select between the multiple tracks on a multi-track clip. So that MP4 that I had just recorded was this one right here. If I open it in VLC, so now that I have my computer's desktop audio separate from my mic, fast forward a little bit. So we yeah. got the, the desktop audio. This is DistroTube, guys. And the mic Four audio. Multiple audio. Now, Everything is mixed together. By default, audio players, the way they work is they always play track one. That's why when we went into the OBS settings, I told you to put everything on a main mix on track one. It's when you open something in a standard audio player like VLC, it's always going to default to track one. So really you should just put everything on track one, but then you do have the other tracks available. If I go into the audio tab here and go to audio track, you see by default it is set to one, but we could check out track two. And now if I start this playing again, so now that I have my computer's desktop, we have the mic audio. Separate. But if I fast forward to where the music's it, playing, no music, right? Yeah, because there was no music on track two. There was no desktop audio. If I go back and I choose track three, you know, mic is not working. The microphone audio is not on track three, but the desktop audio, the music track, is on audio track three. So now let's talk about editing these tracks. So now that we have the multi-track audio, how do you edit it? Well, probably the most common free and open source audio editor on the planet is Audacity. So let me open up Audacity and then let me import something into Audacity that again, we have multiple audio tracks. So all of these have the three audio tracks, all these MP4s I'm recording. And when you drag it into Audacity, you get this pop-up window. And this pop-up window, it has three things in it. Why does it have three things? It's because that MP4 that I'm trying to open in Audacity has three audio tracks. Which one do we want to take a look at? I just choose this first one. This is track one. This is the mix of everything. So it's going to be the microphone. It's going to be the desktop audio music. It's going to have everything in it. But if instead of that one, I drag it and import it again, I choose the uh, second thing in the list. This is track two. This is just the mic, no desktop audio, no music. But if I wanted to, I could go back and import it and choose track three. And this is the desktop audio. That is that music track that I played uh, halfway through that clip. Now, typically, if I'm working on something like this, what I would do is I would grab that audio and import it, and I would choose all the individual audio tracks. So not the first one, not the main mix, because that, that's difficult to work on because everything's together. I would choose tracks two and tracks three together and hit OK. And now I have the microphone audio up here. And down here, I have the desktop audio, the music playing, and I can edit them without really affecting the other one because they're 
you know, on separate tracks. For example, in this section of the MP4 clip that I, I imported, I am speaking. This is me speaking on the microphone. But you notice during that time, there's also some desktop audio playing. So that's the music track playing. What if my microphone audio I'm barely audible because the music maybe is too loud. Well, what I could do is because these are separate tracks. Now, if they were one track, I couldn't do this, but because they are separate tracks, I can go in here and I could adjust the volume of this in audacity. I could go into effects and I could do amplify. And, you know, if I wanted to, I could drop the peak amplitude and, you know, lower the volume, lower the gain quite a bit on that track there. And if I wanted to, I could go up here and do something completely different. I can do a completely different effect because it's a separate audio track. Maybe I could do the amplify effect, but instead of decreasing the volume, maybe increase the volume to the microphone. So that is the beauty of having these on separate tracks. And let me go ahead and close out of Audacity. The last thing I want to show you guys is let me open up my video editor of choice, which is Caden Live. Of course, it's free and open source software as well. How does Caden Live handle audio that has multiple separate tracks? Well, let's import an MP4 and check it out. So if I drag it to the timeline, by default, what you see is just one waveform here. So kind of like most audio players default to just using track one, Caden Live does the same thing. By default, this waveform, this audio waveform is track one. But what you can do is highlight that clip. So just click on it, make sure it's you know highlighted. You can see the bright green now and then go to clip properties. And if you go down to audio stream, you have a drop down menu here of all the audio tracks. So remember, I recorded three audio tracks and we have one which is set by default and that's the main mix of both the mic and the desktop audio. Then we have two, which is just the mic audio. And then we have three, which is the desktop audio only. So if I go to two, this should be the microphone audio, but no desktop audio. So let me go to a section of the clip where there will be some desktop audio. So if I start playing, go ahead and start the desktop audio here. Okay. So the microphone works, but I'm going to let that play There's no for music a playing. See? And then I'm going to talk over it. See, every time there's just yeah. music and no microphone, the music's not distro there. This is DistroTube, guys. Record and edit. All right. So that was just track two there. So let me highlight that clip again. Go to track three. And now no microphone. And we should have the music, though. So there's no mic. Here's the music. And I'm speaking on the mic, but nothing's happening. Speaking on the mic again, nothing's happening. So you can preview the individual audio tracks in Caden Live. Just highlight the clip, go to clip properties, go to audio stream, and just choose what you need from the drop down. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy UK, John, Devin, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George Lewis, Omri Paul, Robert, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys, they are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, you wouldn't know how to record and edit multiple audio tracks using free software like OBS, Caden Live, and Audacity. You wouldn't know about it. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you see on the screen, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because there are no corporate sponsors here at DistroTube. This show is supported by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find DT over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.